Hey folks, today we're going to do a video here on the Eastern King Snake. Uh, this is a very common snake here in Georgia. And uh, this was uh, found on the Panola property. And this little guy can get pretty big, three to four feet. They're shiny, uh, solid black mostly, except for the stripe that you see on it. It's a smooth scale snake. Um, it has those white or yellow looking chain link looking bands that cross the back and they connect along the sides. And because of that pattern, sometimes the species is referred to as a chain king snake. Uh, generally, the kings from the eastern uh, coastal plain, however, have wider bands. Whereas this one, the bands are fairly narrow. Um, so, especially in the mountains, the, the bands may completely disappear and the snake can look completely black. Um, Abby, see if you can get on this, get down on this head so we can see it. The head on that uh, king snake is a short, stout head. Uh, it's got small beady eyes. Um, they have one of the largest geographic distribution ranges of all North American state species. And, uh, their coloration and their patterns can vary depending on where, they're, where they are. Uh, they're found throughout the eastern United States, all the way up to north uh, toward New Jersey. Uh, they're in all areas of Georgia and South Carolina. Uh, eastern King is going to thrive in just about any kind of habitat. Uh, hardwood, pine forests, bottomlands, swamps, tidal wetlands, even uh, farmlands and suburban areas. Um, the species is mostly land-based, but uh, they also hang out close to the stream banks and the swamp borders, so you can see them just about anywhere. Uh, they're secretive snakes. You're likely not going to walk up on one. They kind of hang out under the under boards or logs or other objects where they can find cover. Uh, in our region, here in the southeast, king snakes are almost exclusively active during the day, uh, mostly in the morning during the summer. Uh, they're strong constrictors. They, uh, they eat their food by squeezing it. Um, lizards, other snakes, rodents, birds, uh, especially eggs like turtle eggs. Um, the cool thing about eastern king snake also is very unusual um, and one of the few. That's kind of cool. He's kind of checking out he's that little dandelion he's seed there. A feather thing. But they're resistant to the venom of other pit vipers uh, and so they readily are, they'll eat a copperhead, a cottonmouth, uh, and, and rattlesnakes. So that's, that makes them a very beneficial snake. Um, if you walk up on one in the wild, it will rattle its tail. Uh, they're going to release musk like most what wild snakes do. Uh, meaning if you try to touch them, they release that musky, smelly odor stuff. Sort of as a defense because it's really nasty and sort of sticky. Um, they may bite you when you first capture them, but um, they don't really have teeth, so it's not going to hurt. Uh, they're easy to tame, and because of that, people keep them as, uh, that's good shot there, Abby. Very good. People keep them as pets because they're easy to tame. King snakes, they mate in the spring. The females lay a cluster, uh, three, up to 30 eggs, under, like, rotten logs or under any kind of debris. They lay, the, lay those eggs in early summer, and uh, the eggs hatch out in August or September. Now, back up Abby and see what it looks like there. See, he's in a little bit higher grass there. Let me have it. I'm going to let you pick it up in a minute. See, now that's, that's him in a little bit taller grass. If you walk up on him, that may be what it's going to look like. Go ahead and pick him up before he goes through the fence, honey. This is Abigail holding her king snake. Hold it right there. I'm going to get a picture of that underbelly. Let's walk over and put him in the weeds. Hold it right there a minute. Okay, what we've done is brought the king snake over to a little bit higher weed so you can tell how easily the thing blends. Um, 
If you walk up on it, you might not see it at all if it's in kind of high weeds. Also, the king snake, eastern king snake, is not a protected species at all. It gets no federal, state, or heritage ranking. Uh, it's fairly common. And here, we're getting where you just about can't see him at all. You see how we back off a little bit. You see how well that's blended? Abby, see if you can walk over there and get him to move a little bit, and I'm going to see what it looks like in this in this view. Okay, Abby, go ahead and pick him up, and we'll we'll sign off with a good close-up view of him. Good job. Okay, say hey. Hey. Hold her out there. Can't keep it still. Okay. Eastern king snake. <laughs>